Okay, so we're here at Jack Sacks um, doing our battery class. We've got a battery that was built here from scratch with an ice cube tray, some small lead plates folded over between each of these cells. Uh, we've been charging it now for about 20 minutes or so on a bench supply, 10 amps, uh, varying amperages as we go. And as you can see, or not see, the positive plates have gotten nice and dark there. The negative plates are nice and clean. And uh, when we put it on a multimeter a few minutes ago, it's up around eight and a half volts, so it's about what it should be for a four cell lead acid battery. And we've got an LED cube here powered by an Arduino, and we're gonna see if this battery actually makes enough power to power this LED cube. So if somebody else wants to grab this, I'll try to hook it up. Let's see. All right, so turn this off, unhook it. Uh, just kind of tap all these to let any bubbles on them kind of disperse up and get us as much usable surface area as possible, hopefully. Just let that settle while we're doing it. Shake it off. All right. Negative on the voltage ground, positive on the voltage in, and hopefully we get power. Yep. Hey! <laughs> we made a battery. <laughs> now let's see how bright it actually gets when it's on uh, all the LEDs lit. It's powering it. Yeah. I can't believe it. That's awesome. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I can't do it. You can't do it. Can't more. do it for long. But it did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Needs more time to charge it. Huh? Yeah, I think that was just because it's only got a surface charge right now. So hey. Hey, LED power power cube. microcontroller. So. <laughs> yeah. We made a functional battery. Yeah. Power okay. microcontroller and some LEDs.